Hey guys, welcome again to Track My TV. This is Spotlight Show with Sonia. Thank you so much for joining and for tuning in. You're welcome. Today we are going to be talking to Lynn. So people love when their spaces are decorated. There are a lot of things that you could have. There's so much color that comes with decorations that are put around the house. And today we are talking to Lynn about what she does and you should give her your money. Hi, Lynn. Hi. How are you? I'm um, okay. How are you? I'm also fine. Welcome to Spotlight. Thank you. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, my name is Lynn. I'm an artist. I design and uh, make wall deco from uh, Ankara fabric. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's really, really lovely. So when did you discover that you could do all this? Um, I've, I've always loved art and I've always been fascinated by just being able to create something from raw materials. Mm -hmm. So I discovered this last year and that's when I actually started. Okay. Yeah. So you're one of the people who had COVID breakthroughs. Yeah, I would say that. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. So if I would want to buy something like this, mm -hmm. which kind of space would I put it in? Anywhere. Mm -hmm. Living room, um, kitchen, bedroom, corridors offices basically anywhere that you can decorate okay yeah on the walls on the walls yeah all right so is there a specific for example when people are cooking in the kitchen it gets a lot of I got a lot of mist and everything do you think they would spoil with mist i don't think so okay yeah all right that's nice yeah. so how do you price your products i price them according to how much time i take to make and uh the size of the of the decor. Okay. Yeah. So why Ankara? It's colorful. Okay. Yeah. They're not the ones that are usually very dull. It's colorful. It's it's not predictable. I love it. it. It gives a space some some unique vibe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's very that's very very interesting. So a lot of people are doing wall decor outside mm -hmm. here. Yeah. So what do you think makes you different from them? Um, I think the fact that it's 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 different colors mm -hmm. on on one piece, yeah, and it's affordable. Okay. And I make it myself instead of just buying something that is already mm -hmm. made from from some other company. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's really lovely. Uh -huh. Effort is good. I think when people. Some people buy effort, what you have, yeah. the energy and the amount of time and that you put in it. Personal touch. And the personal touch. Yeah. So which is your personal touch in these ones? My personal touch. I love this. Why? Why do you love it? I don't know. I, I just love it because it's 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 not that bright. At the same time, it's 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 really eye catching. Okay. Yeah. So uh, when you're pairing them, do you pair them according to their colors or you pair them? Like, how do you pair them together? I pair them. Um, I don't mix uh, fabric prints. I pair them according to similar fabrics. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, for example, this one is a yellow and is this and a gray. gray? Yeah. So when you're putting them together, together. for example, you're yeah. buying, someone is buying and they want a plain color with it. So which uh -huh. color would you give them for this one? A plain color, isn't it? Like for this one, we have uh -huh. this as a plain color, right? Yeah. So how about for this one? Like for what, this one, what inspires the colors? I'd give them a gray. A gray. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. So when you're when someone is buying product from mm -hmm. you, yeah. do you sit down with them and talk to them and probably find out how their spaces look like, or they just buy from you directly? Sometimes I do, if, if that's what a client wants. Mm -hmm. If they want me to make them something for their space, I normally ask, what's the color of your walls? Okay. What's the color of your curtains? What's the color of your furniture? Or if I post this and someone likes it and they just order, I just, I just deliver. All right. Yeah. So do you feel intimidated by people who are also doing what you do? I don't. You don't feel intimidated? Yeah, because I feel like... They, you can never exhaust the market. Okay. And and some people will like this. Some people will like uh, other pieces of art. So I think that if you just get out there, you'd get someone to buy your product. There will always be market. Yes. All right. Yeah. That's very interesting. Did you study this in school? Oh, no. 
I studied community development. I have a degree wow. in community Those are development. Two different things. Totally different. But uh, yeah, it's it's great that uh, you can you can use a certain aspect of you and at the same time study something different. Okay. Yeah. So how does it feel uh, doing this and then you have a degree somewhere? Do you still practice your degree? I do actually. I do community projects. Okay. Once in a while, like last year, I did a project with um with some a group of women, and I I taught them how to make mats from uh, from affordable materials like yarn and a needle and a recycled sack. So it's art, at the same time it's community development. Okay. Yeah. So you, you said Liwe Liwalo, you have to put together everything that you like. Yeah, you can, there's always where you can merge things. Okay. Yeah. So do you have like a role model, someone that you look up to? In in terms of what Yeah, in terms of art, what you do, yeah. Uh, I'd say it's a bit different. Mm -hmm. uh, there's this lady, she's the CEO of Ellen Design. Mm -hmm. Her name is Helen. Yeah, I look up to her because she she started from scratch with what's, what she had, mm -hmm. and that is inspiring. Okay. Yeah. I really hope Helen should hear. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, much she's, she has inspired you and you're yeah. actually doing something about uh -huh. it. That's really, really light. That's really, really amazing. Thank you. So do you think people would stay out here and not have talent? No, I think everyone does have a talent. Everyone has a talent. Yeah. Like what? Like, for example, what talent or rather how many talents do you think are there? Or what talents do you think people can explore? I think everything is a talent. For everything example, you're, talent. you're hosting me. Mm -hmm. It's a talent. Not everyone can do it. Uh -huh. And I feel like we don't have to have one talent. We have many. It's only that we haven't explored. Okay. Yeah. That's that's really 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 nice. So when you're working with fabric and wall de deco mm -hmm. and all, what has your achievement been so far? My achievement, I would say, is um, um, making something and actually someone liking it and buying it and putting it on their walls. It's something because not a lot of people get to exploit what they can do. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. So is this your major source of income? It's one of my sources of income. Okay. Yeah. So you are the people who subscribe to, you need to have many doors out here, jack of all trades. It's good to have diverse sources of income. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. Mm -hmm. You have never thought of investing in wall deco full time? I have, but I still appreciate having other means. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I understand it. So apart from this and your degree, is there anything else that you're pursuing at the moment? At the moment, no. But in future, yes. What would you want to pursue? I would, I would want to pursue psychology. Psychology. Yeah, I'm passionate about uh, mental health. Right. Yeah, it's something I'm looking into. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. Thank you. Ah, all right. So I want to give you a little bit of a challenge. Mm -hmm. So. First, let me ask you, do you get people who are very specific about shit? Uh, like not maybe really. someone wants, I just want a circle, a full circle that is not oval circles, specifically circles. I do circles. You do circles? Yes, I do circles. I do squares. I do rectangles. Yeah. A rhombus. <laughs> that <laughs> one is, it's a bit hard to shape it. Pa pa yeah. Para, 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 le. Para that one. Yeah. Do you do it too? I, I, I can't even, I don't <laughs> know how it looks like. So um, I'm, I'm not attempted. attempted. Okay. Uh -huh. That's very, very, that's, anyway, it's just funny. It's just, sometimes people talk about all the things that we started in school that we are not pursuing at the moment. So yeah, it's, it's good it. to know, probably, you know, maybe you are doing it, someone would have tried mm -hmm. or wanted to try something that's robust. Anyway, so do you feel like working on your wall deco, mm -hmm. wall deco mm -hmm. is fulfilling the purpose for your life? It's part of it. I don't, I don't, I feel like we have so many parts of our lives mm -hmm. that when they come together, they make the whole of us. I like mental health. I like art. I also like uh, developing the community and all of those things 
come together to fulfill me. Okay. Yeah. But then I have noticed that mm -hmm. whatever you're doing, even at the community yeah. level, is still involved with art. Yes, it is. So we could say like art is your major, major thing and then every other thing is aligned into art. Yeah, you could put it that way. Okay. Yeah. So for example, you when you're working on the mental health mm -hmm. and all, how do you think you could probably inspire people or talk to people or reach out to people? Rather, what would be your game? With mental health? Yeah. Um, that is something I'm about to pursue mm -hmm. in the near future. But I'm looking forward to um to working with communities to um changing people's lives with that once i am empowered to do so yes all right yeah. but you can also make use of the little that you have right now i feel yes. i feel like you have you're one of the people who have in intertwined their lives together like everything adds up to another thing yeah but there are guys who do things that are completely different, different. like this is different this is different but yours you know it's it, it adds up together yes thank you so if you would lose community would you be devastated community development no i wouldn't you wouldn't because you basically work with the community all over the place they are promoting business that's also community development mm -hmm. um at it's it's also a level of development yeah so i don't think i can lose it okay. basically yeah all right mm. That's nice. So, have you ever tried doing a community project on your own? Like, you just decide, I'm going to do this alone, without backup from other people? Um, you can't do it alone. Okay. You come up with a project. Maybe I can come up, for example, the other project, I came up with the idea, but then I gathered stakeholders to help me do it. Because you can't go out there and start telling people, come and I'll teach you how to make maths. You have to um to to go through people who are directly involved with community. Okay. Those are called stakeholders. Right. Yeah. So do you also have stakeholders with your business? With my business, I do. I I do because okay. friends promote my business. Yeah. So did you begin it as a project or just for fun? I began it as a project. This one. Yeah. Okay. That's nice, and. Uh, have you ever been at a point where you had to decide between doing this and your career? Um, no. Right now, there's a balance between my career and this. I can manage both. Okay. Yeah. So say, for example, there's someone out there who wants to do something that, that is artsy, uh -huh. but they also have their careers. What advice would you give them to try and bring a balance to all of it? I think everything is possible if you really want it mm -hmm. and you can always create time for what you really want to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and art is something that's within you. So it's it's very easy to create time for something you love to do. Okay. Yeah. So your secret is if you love it, you will do it and if you create time for it, you will always be there. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's very, very nice. So do you have people that you have mentored with art? Uh, for now, no, but I'm looking forward to doing that in the future. But those guys that you helped make the maths with? That's, a, that's a different one. It's not, oh, not, it's not this. Okay. Yeah, but those ones, yeah, I, I, I have. You have? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So when you look at your work, how, how does it make you feel? Awesome. When, when I sell a piece and, and then someone ch sends me the pic, it's, it's very nice to just see your work. In someone's house you know a house is very personal so it's it's really nice yeah that is very very true that is very very true so there's something that we had talked about and then i decided to hold it for a moment uh-huh before we went to the circles yeah so i would like us to do something small mm -hmm. so just using this art that you have i want us to i want you to tell us a story a story yes just give us a story, not necessarily the story that was behind it. But say, for example, you want to sell me your piece of art. Mm -hmm. So um, I want you to tell me a story using whatever you have here that will convince me to buy it. Okay. Yeah. Um, Just a moment before you begin. Mm -hmm. You're sure you're ready? I am not sure where to begin. No, you, there's, there's no pressure. 
<laughs> just sit down, just be calm. So okay. I wanted to come and buy. I'm like, uh-huh. why do you do what you do and something? So probably I'm targeting to see something, maybe passion or something. Mm-hmm. So I want you to tell me a story. Just formulate a story from the pieces of art that you have mm-hmm. that would make me buy it. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you are approaching me. I yeah. want to sell myself yes. to you. Um, so I would... Um, I would uh, tell you that I do. No, 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 no. I am here. I am a client. I uh-huh. have come and I'm like, okay, so I see, I see what you're doing. Uh-huh. Okay, so what is it about? Are these about uh, affordable mm-hmm. world decor? Because um, some pieces of art are really expensive. Mm-hmm. And uh, I make it myself and I can customize it for you with the colors that you love. Okay. Yeah, it's something that you can have in your house and whether it's your own or rented, rented, because you can move with it, and it comes with a free mounting tape. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let me try. Mm-hmm. Then you see, you tell me how I have done. Then people can tell, can tell us how good I have done. I mean, I'll just try to pride myself in being good. <laughs> Doesn't mean I am. So I'm sorry, I talk a lot. So when okay. <laughs> when I talk about a story. So this is an example of one. Mm-hmm. So say you have come and approached me and then you find me selling and then I tell you a story about it. Mm-hmm. So I am parading my things, you have come. Yeah. Engage me. Engage me. You're the seller now. No, I am. You're the buyer. Yes, I'm the seller, I'm the seller, okay. you're the buyer. Okay. What's this? What's that? Oh, this. This is actually very interesting, by the way. Do uh-huh. you know? Do you know how? Do you know where people get this material from, this fabric from? Uh, no. It's a long story, but I'm going to make it short for you. So you see, Mm -hmm. when I was growing up, you know, culture is very important. And sometimes when you look at clips about, um, clips about, you know, people in West Africa and Ghana and how they're embracing their culture, Mm -hmm. it really makes me feel so good about it to embrace what we have. So this is just a story of, of passion and commitment when I sit down, make something that makes me feel so good. <laughs> You're already <laughs> smiling. <laughs> but basically, this, this is really, seem, really... you seem passionate. But, well, yes, it is. I think what, when you talk a lot, you have a lot of stories. So yeah. you can always make a story out of nowhere. Uh-huh. So have you ever tried partnering with other people? Um, For now, no. No. Yeah. What reasons do you have? Because it's it's something that's growing. Mm-hmm. And I would just like it to be mine okay. for now. Okay. Yeah. Have you had any challenges with it so far? Yeah, getting it to the market, and then it's not. This is not a basic need, so you have to really sell it out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever been to any art gallery? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Wow. You should. I think this is really, really lovely. Thank you. And people sh- should buy. People should buy. So in case someone would want to reach you, where can they uh-huh. find you? Instagram mm-hmm. at Africana Milele. Africana Milele. And Lindumia. Lindumia. So those yes. are two Instagram handles that are yours? Yeah, yeah. You can find this work there. Okay. At yeah. both pages? At both pages. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's lovely. Mm-hmm. And my number too. Ah, your number? Yeah. Mm. Could you please tell us your number? 0717-113-442. Can you repeat it in threes? I can't. Zero seven one seven one one three. No, in threes. I, I can't. <laughs> you know, we used to be told that when, for example, when people go to functions, yeah. and then a girl, you ask for a lady their number. Uh-huh. And then they tell you their number in a hurry. So what you do is that you can shop them. You tell them to repeat it backwards. Okay, you would definitely fail that yeah. one. <laughs> but anyway, this is really, really lovely, guys. And they come in. It's not just one piece of art, right? Yeah, they come in uh, a number of pieces together. You mm-hmm. put them together to form one. Okay. Yeah. So you can have them. Give us an example of how you can arrange. Arrange them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I use your hands? Yes, you can use my hands, please. They are very free. So, 
So I hold them together? Uh, no, okay. just yeah, separately. Mm -hmm. So that's a piece. You can arrange it that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, How with the mounting tape, so which is provided. Yeah. So the pricing comes with the mounting tape. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What yeah. else? How? Which other design can you put it apart? You can from this? put them together like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, this is really really lovely, guys. You should yeah. definitely look for Lin. Yeah. Lin Dumia, you said. Yes. Or Africana. Africa with a K. Milele. Africa African with a K. Milele. Yeah. African forever. Africana. You should definitely look for her stuff and buy it because this is really, really lovely. And of course, it would look lovely in your space. And why else will we keep talking about buying Kenya, promoting Kenya, if you're not going to look for her? You guys should definitely, definitely promote Lynn. Look at her stuff. Follow her page at Lynn Dumia in Instagram and Africana Milele, Africana with a K. You should definitely buy what she has. Thank you so much for tuning in to Track My TV up to this point. It has been really, really lovely having you guys. Be sure to like this video. Make sure you share it to your friends. If you have someone who's just moved into a new house, you're wondering which gift you're going to give them for their housewarming party, look for Lynn and she will definitely not disappoint you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Spotlight Show again with me. Make sure to follow Lynn at her Instagram handle at Lynn Dumia and Africana Milele, Africana with a K. Buy her stuff. If you have someone who has a housewarming party and you're not so sure which gift to buy them, if you're looking for wedding gifts for someone who's just, you know, is getting married and you don't know what else to give them, look for Lynn and she will definitely not disappoint you. Be sure to share this video like it and comment and let us know what you think about this i am so glad you have sit, sat up to this point have an amazing time thank you